Okay, hi everyone. So today we'll be looking at how to create your own database, okay, for variable data printing. Okay, so with our example, we've done an employee um, business card, okay, so we've included name, ID number, position, email, and image, okay. Um, and all our variable data is within these um, rows, okay, and the columns are just categories. So with our PDF that we normally show um, people for our database layout, you will um, have your name, employee number, date, employed image. So if you have a membership card, it will be the name, membership number, date, and image, okay? So please make sure that you have spelled the name correctly and the image correctly, because if you misspell it, um, it will be printed incorrectly on your PVC card, and therefore you'll have to reprint, which will obviously cost money. Um, yeah, so please make sure that the image column, if included, includes the name of the image file, okay, in that row. Um, incorrect image names will result in incorrect images being printed onto the card, okay? And obviously, it will result in a reprint. So going back to the database, I want to just um, explain the image um, column as much as possible because I think people get a bit confused about this. So what I did is that I downloaded um, my staff images from Canva and it downloaded into a zip file, okay? So I'll go to my downloads and as you can see, the zip file is here. What I did is that I left, clicked on it, extracted all and extracted it from there into my download files. And as you can see here are my staff images, okay? Um, and they numbered accordingly from one to eight, okay? Um, as you can see in my database, I've also labeled, numbered them from one to eight. And I just need to make sure that they match correctly when I input my information. Sorry. Um, yeah, accordingly. Okay. I just need to make sure as well that um, this, go left click and go into properties, that this is a PNG file or a JPEG file for either or. So it's important that when you um, put an image in, it has to be a JPEG or it must be a PNG, it can't be both. So um, as you can see with these images, if I go into properties, you can see they're all PNG files. So I'm only working with PNG instead of JPEG, okay? So um, I'm going to basically um, create a, a formula where I can um, insert um, my images accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to left click on staff, copy addresses, text. So this is the last part. Um, go back into my database over here um, and basically just go control V. Okay, then what I want you to do is have a forward slash. Okay, um, and include that into your, your JPEG. Okay, um, lastly, I want to Put .png, enter, and I want to create a formula here called concatenate. Okay, so here I'm going to include um, the, the image name, okay, comma, the ID number, comma, and then that it is a PNG. And then close my brackets and press enter. Okay, so as you can see, it's copied the ID number as well as that it is a PNG. So it's basically um, combining both and allowing you to make an understanding that it is number one is a PNG and number two is a PNG. The ID number is just static. The ID number is the only thing that changes, whereas um, this text does not does not change as well as the PNG does not change. Okay, so what we need to do here is absolute references. So these are the dollar signs. Include it there and include it there. And um, like you can see. Okay, so these two parts don't change. Okay, and we need to make sure that only the ID number is changing, um, which is the variable. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just move this down towards eight. Okay, and as you can see, the numbers have changed accordingly to who your employee is, okay? 
So, um, as you can see, it is um, still a formula and we want to try to change it to text so that you can export it as a SS, S, CSV and read it as a text instead of a formula. Okay, so what I want you to do is go to Control Shift and press down. Okay, and then um, I want you to go to Control C and then Shift Control V. Okay. So yeah, it's just as simple as that. And as you can see, it's no longer a formula um, that has gone away. And yeah, so you can see all I did was shift control down to copy all of it and then control C. And then I did shift control V okay, to copy it as text. So um, previously I used the names of the employees, but what can happen here is that you can actually just misspell it or easily make um, errors so that's why we use ID numbers where you can't easily make errors so what I'm going to do here is just delete it okay then copy this say so control C um, control V and this is where you can easily find all the information again um, what we'd also want you to supply is just the folder of the pictures because obviously when we put it into our um, document, is, is not uh, my name is not going to be Sherry, it's going to be something else. Okay, it's going to be for my computer. So if you could just supply the, the um, folder that you got all the images from, that would really help so we could redo this whole thing if you find it too difficult. Okay, so next I would want you to say file download as a, S a CSV. Okay, um, and then you can just download that as a database and send that through to us with the artwork. Um, great, so this helped a lot.